A worldwide musical project supporting mothers and their babies has made its way to Pittsburgh. KDKA's Alexander Todd shares how the Lullaby Project is helping local women build confidence and connect with their kids. You don't know how much we love you. Waited a lifetime to meet you. And we can't wait to see who you will be. Music helps kids develop in a plethora of positive ways. That's why Carnegie Hall's Wheel Music Institute partnered with Pittsburgh Cultural Trust and PNC to create the Lullaby Project. Just to be a part of something to where uh, you see a parent's love for their child and being able to express that through song um, was a very special thing to just, be, just to be able to witness. You are my baby. They paired 20 new and expecting mothers and caregivers with musicians to write and record their own lullabies for their babies. I think the initial part of it were, was a bit of nervousness because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them weren't involved in any musical capacity uh, in terms of just song creation or anything like that before. And so, but I think as the as the time went along, they get, we got more comfortable. More than 7,000 families throughout the world have made lullabies since the project started in 2011. Now it's touching hearts and impacting families here in the Steel City. I had one mother explain to me, you know, the confidence that this gave her in herself, the way that she described that the process of writing this for her child, uh, just improved her confidence and belief in herself is something that was beyond what we even could imagine. The end of the project culminated in a celebration concert in the Cultural District, where families and the public got to enjoy professional performances of their lullabies. We are on board to continue this on. Uh, we are uh, starting up another cohort with uh, 10 more families, uh, and, and we'll have another celebration concert at the beginning of the year to celebrate that process. So this is going to uh, live on at the Trust, uh, hopefully forever. Alexander Todd, KDK-TV News.